Hello everyone, I'm Vladimir Yakovlev, a professional athlete and the leading coach of the Magic Wind Windsurfing School. We travel and organize international windsurfing camps all over the world, choosing the best windy spots. Today we are studying a helicopter tack. The helitack is the third turn that you should study after the jibe and the upwind tack. While learning this element you will get acquainted with the new concept of backwind and learn how to catch the wind with the reverse side of your sail. To study this maneuver we will need a small sail and a large board. As you progress try using a smaller board with stronger wind. Start turning against the wind by tilting the sail towards the stern. If the board is gliding, you should load up your heels to turn the board upwind. Do not change the position of your hands on the boom. Look towards the wind in order to track the moment when the board turns completely against the wind. As the board turns, get out of the foot straps and get closer to the mast. The front leg should stand in front of the mast foot at the moment when the nose of the board is about to cross the wind line. During the turn, try to keep the traction in the sail as much as possible by pulling the rear arm towards yourself, but not the front one. As soon as the board has crossed the wind line, begin guiding the sail through the wind and tilting the mast forward to the bow of the board. It is important that the wind does not blow into the sail before you tilt the mast. While tilting the sail, the arms move along the boom into a wider grab for better control of the power in the sail. Simultaneously with the tilt of the sail, the body bends following the sail in order to counteract the wind, bending the front leg slightly to carry the body forward. As soon as your sail and body lean forward, begin adding a little power from the backwind position with your back hand. Pushed by the wind, the board will start to pivot further into the turn. As soon as the board has turned away from the wind line by about 45 degrees, you should flip the sail and switch your feet position at the same time. You can grab your sail either by the mast or the boom depending on how far from the mast your front arm was positioned. Your feet switch their position differently depending on which foot you have body weight on. If you keep the weight on the front foot, then the first step is taken by your back foot towards the mast foot. The second option works if you have pivoted your board more than 45 degrees from the wind, then your back foot in this position will be more loaded and the first step should be taken with the front foot. Your feet should move strictly along the center line of the board. Let's take a look at some common mistakes. For example, you get knocked down on your back as soon as you get into a backwind position. To avoid this, lower the sail as much as you can before the wind starts blowing on its flip side. Sometimes after flipping the sail it gets pulled out of your hands. In order to counteract this pull it is necessary to pull the mast strongly towards yourself at the last moment of flipping the sail. Sometimes after switching your feet position you lose your balance and fall on your back. Hold the sail clue first until you find a steady balance and only then flip it around.
The ability to perform heli tack is not only for show off. This is a skill that will come in handy with a stable performance of a simple upwind tack or when you're standing still waiting for a start or a wave. You can find more cool tips and tutorials on my channel or by coming to the International Windsurfing School Magic Wind.